Hello friends, in the previous session we just had an, a basic introduction to what a DMA is and in this session we are going to move into a bit of details by learning about the various steps of device access but if I just take a small recap of my previous video I would say that a DMA is basically a technique wherein we isolate those particular tasks uh, which do not require any CPU uh, processing we isolate those tasks from the CPU and thus those tasks are not allowed to interrupt CPU therefore CPU can concentrate on processing some other tasks while this uh, particular task is being processed. So that was the very basic notion of what DMA is and now we are going to move into the details by knowing how this DMA technique actually works. So let's see the steps. First step is CPU sends an input output request directly to the DMA controller. Hey, so CPU sends an input output request. We are also going to refer the, uh, to the diagram step by step. So this is the first step. CPU has sent a request to DMA controller. Now, DMA controller passes the request to the appropriate device controller. Now, CPU is in need of a particular device. So, he, uh, so it sent uh, an input output request to the DMA. Now, uh, note that CPU is not directly interacting with the input output devices over here. It is interacting with your DMA. Now DMA then forwards this request to the particular device controller. Here and also you can notice that it has not interacted directly with the device. It is interacting with the particular device controller. So next what happens is the device controller writes one byte memory and sends it to the DMA controller. So the device controller now writes one byte of memory and it sends to the DMA controller. This manner it writes in byte by byte. So it is only allowed to write one byte at a particular time instant. So then DMA controller picks the step two and three this these two what does it do it again passes the request to the appropriate device controller which again forwards the next byte and in this manner what it happens is dma actually collects the entire data so once the dma controller receives all the requested data it will send an interrupt to the cpu so finally after collecting the entire data what will happen is now after collecting all the entire data in the form of these bytes it finally sends the request to the cpu that this is the complete data that you wanted and now you can take a control of it so that's all for the entire process how dma collects the data and then sends it to the cpu now in the next session we are going to uh, move into a more set of details by understanding the various modes in which the DMA works while transferring this data by while collecting this data first of all from all the device controllers and then sending it to the CPU. So the modes are very important which are uh, often asked in the exams and there are also a set of uh, numericals which come on the basis of that. So in the next video sessions, in the upcoming video sessions, we are going to learn about those modes and also a set of numericals. Uh, in the same uh, context. So that's all for this session. In case you liked it, please like the video by clicking the thumbs up button below and keep subscribed for more good work coming up. Thank you.